I think it has not been easy, and uh, we, we, we thank God that it's been very successful in spite of uh, uh, the long and difficult journey we've had, right from Marrakech uh, to Kisumu. Uh, we had COVID-19 in between, and uh, uh, we had to postpone it uh, twice. Uh, but we are happy that uh, eventually we've been able to have a very successful event. We're on the third day, and uh, we are happy. Uh, we had expected about 8,000 delegates, but uh, we have surpassed that number by almost 2,000. I'm told as of this morning, we have over 11,000 delegates who have uh, come in. And uh, as we speak, there are more delegations coming. We're expecting about uh, 500, I think, uh, from Zambia and uh, several other countries. Uh, on the third day, this is very exciting that uh, we still we are receiving more visitors. So I must say that uh, in spite of the challenges, uh, it's turned out to be a big success and uh, we are very, very uh, pleased. I think for us, uh, we have a long history uh, of a centralized system of government. And uh, in 2010, the people of Kenya decided to change their system of governance to a, a, a devolved system where we created uh, 47 county governments. And in, in 10 years, we've been able to do uh, much more than perhaps we did in the last 50 years, where uh, because of the centralized system of government, uh, certain parts of the country have been left out or left behind in terms of development. This devolution has brought about equalization that uh, has ended actually a marginalization that was there before under the centralized system. And uh, we have a very uh, uh, equitable way of uh, sharing the national cake uh, with a clear uh, criteria uh, set in our constitution, in our laws. And uh, uh, this has brought about huge uh, transformation of certain parts of the country uh, that uh, had not been experienced before. We have seen tarmac roads, we have seen new hospitals, new facilities uh, reaching the people in even far-flung corners of our country that had not realized this development before. So we'd like to share these experiences with our brothers and sisters from uh, across Africa uh, and also share with them the challenges we have experienced even as we were developing uh, this new system of government and uh, how they can be uh, overcome. So we, we're, we're glad that in this conference we have that opportunity and there are more visitors coming even today. I think from this conference uh, we hope that uh, we'll go away with uh, one lesson that uh, uh, unless we prepare our cities for the future, we are going to face major, major challenges as our populations grow and as the pressure comes to bear on our social amenities across our cities and towns, the experts are telling us by 2050, we'll have over 60% of our populations living in these intermediary cities. Therefore, it behoves us, both as national government and sub-national governments, to prepare for uh, uh, that day. And it starts with uh, planning, proper planning, and uh, as cities, we can learn from each other but also with uh, the exposure we are now giving intermediary cities. I believe more focus, more attention will now come to them as a result of what we've done here. Before uh, Afri City uh, summits were being held in our capital cities, so whether in, uh, you're in London or you are in Moscow, or Berlin or in Washington, you know of Nairobi, but very few people know about Kisumu. I think with these attention and focus we've received here today. A lot more uh, will be done here in Kisumu, and very, more, uh, very many Kisumus are yet to be discovered. There are hidden gems in Africa that are yet to be discovered, and we thank UCLJ for giving us the opportunity uh, as the first county uh, and the first country uh, to host uh, in an intermediary city an event of this magnitude. We are very, very pleased. And I believe the lessons taken away in uh, how we can uh, uh, improve in uh, terms of addressing the vulnerabilities of our cities as our populations grow will be shared for many years to come. I think we have been privileged to host it twice. We will also want to give others a chance for a while only, 
but uh, we also have new cities coming up. Like our fourth city, Nakuru, has just been born. We'd want to grow it for another five or uh, ten years. Then we'll be very happy to host uh, uh, the other Afri cities conference in Nakuru. Because Nakuru is coming up, Eldred is coming up, and uh, in future we'll be glad to be given another opportunity. But we would also want to be fair uh, to other cities of Africa to be given the opportunity to also showcase uh, what they're doing in their intermediary cities. We'd like to see more Kisumus come up across Africa. I think this is what, uh, what Odlo Peter said, uh, uh, we, we create the African renaissance. We want to grow these cities. And even as we talk about Africa rising, I think it will take rising stars like Kisumu to make Africa really rise. So I think this is where we need to focus on, yes.